Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Uwel. Shalom wahabla bachyar shayasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again through the lesson. Baharucha Kharasha Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um the title of this video is going to be Wisdom Again Preserved It. And I get the title from this precept in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon in the 10th chapter, which we're gonna get to, but I want to build it up first, alright? So pretty much the uh, basis of this lesson is going in on how important wisdom is, all right? And this wisdom that's been gifted onto us, this wisdom that's been given onto us is what's going to save us. It's what's going to preserve us. It's what's going to keep us from the evils that's going to come upon this world. Okay, seeing, it says in the book of, um, in the book of Corinthians, seeing that we have this ministry, we have received mercy. So seeing that we have this ministry, this wisdom, we have received mercy, right? Therefore, we faint not. Ain't no fainting, ain't no turning back, ain't no giving up. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's start off with Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. So wisdom is going to preserve us. On that note, let's jump back a couple chapters. This is Proverbs chapter 2 and verse... Uh, Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh, I'll start at 10. It says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. All right, so this wisdom, this knowledge and understanding is giving us discretion that's going to preserve us. That's going to allow us to, uh, uh, to escape again, to escape these evils that's to come. It says, Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll continue. I'll read 11 again. It says, Dis Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. So this wisdom, that's been, again, that's been gifted onto us from Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, is how we're going to escape this evil man. It's how we're going to be delivered from this wicked, forward devil who's coming down with great wrath. All right, he's, he's uh, orchestrating a man-made famine. All right, he has uh, hundreds of concentration camps set up across America. He's intentionally collapsing the dollar. He's taking away your ability to provide for yourself. Okay, he, he's he's forcing you to lean upon him uh, uh, even more in all things, and it's all leading up to the M O uh, uh, T to the B. Okay, the M O B. All right, the mob. Okay, the karagma. It's, that's what it's all leading to. And he's going to go through anything to try to get that karagma within you. And the consequences is going to be death. All right. Going back to the book of uh, to the book of first Maccabees, going back to the Maccabees period. Right. That that time period. Right. When Esau Edom first came into rulership as the Grecians, he was forcing the Israelites to eat pork. And if you didn't, that would be death. He was forcing the Israelites to not call themselves Jews anymore, but to call, to call themselves Grecians, to follow after their ways, right? That's where you get the Hellenized Israelites. That's when you get that's where you get the uh, uh, Grecians that's talked about in the New Testament, who were Israelites but they were Hellenized, okay? Who were Israelites but they were forced to follow the ways of the Greeks, okay? Uh, and then after generations, sh sh shit, they was calling themselves Greeks, all right? That's the history of that, okay? But um. Let's go back into Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. See, that's what we chasing. You chasing the bag, we chasing wisdom, which is going to bring us to a kingdom, which is, which is going to get us the biggest bag uh, 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 ever, all right? A bag that you can't even fathom, a bag, that, a bag that you can't even imagine, okay? Niggas is chasing a bag full of Federal Reserve notes. Niggas is chasing a bag with holes in it, as it says in the book of Haggai, all right? But this bag that we chase, and ain't no holes in it. It says, Storp your treasures in heaven where moth and rust do if not corrupt, where thieves do not break through and steal. All right? This bag that we got is eternal, is everlasting. All right? It says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. 
Love her and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So that's what we're supposed to be getting while we're on this earth. All right. Uh, uh, knowledge, wis knowledge, understanding, and above all, the principal thing being wisdom. It says, exalt her and she shall promote thee. Exalt wisdom. Right? It says wisdom crieth out. Put this wisdom on a pedestal. Show forth this wisdom in the midst of the congregation. And she shall promote thee. And that's how we're going to be lifted up. That's how we're going to be increased. That's how we're going to be exalted and how we're going to prosper. If we're applying the wisdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, which is the words that's written in this book. It says, exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. All right, she shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Let's get that word embrace. See what it says. Proverbs 4. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. To clasp. not really giving me much so I'm gonna look it up on a dictionary embrace to hug to welcome accept or support a belief so it's pretty much hold fast hold fast to wisdom as it says in the book of revelations hold fast that which ye have already what do we have already this wisdom this knowledge this understanding he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end the same shall get power over the nations all right, so, all right, holding on to this wisdom, applying this wisdom, exalting this wisdom is how we're going to get power over the nations. It's how we're going to be promoted. It's how we're going to be given honor. All right, I'm just looking up more on embracing. Really, not it's saying what I'm saying. Really. All right, so that's it on that. I'll continue to read. It says, "Exalt her, and she shall promote thee." She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Okay? So, honoring wisdom, embracing wisdom, not forsaking wisdom, applying wisdom, is how we're going to get our crown. Alright? Let's go into Wisdom of Solomon, the 6th chapter. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. And verse... Eighteen, and love is the keeping of her laws. The her that is talking about is talking about wisdom, and love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Giving heed unto the laws of wisdom, meaning everything that's written, not just the uh, first five books, right? The Mosaic laws, what they call it, not just the uh, Torah, all right, but the whole entire book, okay, from Genesis. To uh, uh, Second Ezra to to Revelations, all right, all eighty books. Th this is our wisdom in the sight of the nations. This is what makes us better than everybody else. And this is what's going to bring us everlasting life. Okay, the the Lord says, "Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life." In the book of um, James, it says, "The engrafted word, which is able to save your soul." There's salvation in this book. There's salvation in these words. There's power in these scriptures. Okay, so why would you forsake such a thing? All right. And really, it's not you forsaking wisdom. It's wisdom forsaking your ass. All right. That's why we got to make sure that we're on point so that wisdom don't uh, uh, get rid of us. So that wisdom don't forsake us. All right. It says that uh, wisdom will not dwell in a malicious soul and someone that's subject unto sin. Okay. So this is wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and verse... Uh, 19 and I'll read 18 again and love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption and incorruption maketh us near unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is what makes us near to the Lord to the Heavenly Father the Creator. All right in the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai. Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. We have to desire this going back into that Proverbs 
the um what was that the fifth chapter or the fourth chapter the fifth verse get wisdom get understanding the seventh verse about uh, uh wisdom is the principal thing uh therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding why? Because she shall promote thee. Why? Because if you embrace her, she shall bring you to honor. She will give you a crown. Okay? She will bring you to a kingdom like we just read. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. And that's what this book is for. This book is for the kings of the people, the princes, the rulers. All right? This book isn't for just anybody. All right. It is definitely not for no dirty ass heathens. OK. And it's not even for all Israel. It's for the ruling body of Israel. It says that we speak wisdom amongst them that are perfect. The ones that are perfect is the elect that abide in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. OK. That's who this book is for. All right. It says that uh, um, in the book of Malachi, it says that uh, a book of the a book of remembrance was written for them that fear Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai. If I didn't already quote that. All right, but it says, um, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. This is what's going to allow us to reign forever, forever, ever. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. I will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. So the whole world is waiting for Yahweh Shai, whether they know it or not. The world needs Yahweh Shai because this current world is polluted, as it says in the book of Micah, the second chapter. Arise and depart, this is not your rest, it is polluted, it will destroy you with the sword of destruction. This whole earth is uh, uh, drenched in pollution. Why? Because the devil is ruling. Okay? So the Lord's going to have to get rid of him and set up one that is profitable. One that's going to rule in righteousness. One that's going to rule with the wisdom of this uh, uh, of these scriptures. Being Yahweh Shai Mashiach and the elect being joint heirs with him. Receive therefore instruction through my words and it shall do you good. What's written in this book is only good for us. So you're getting tired of you getting uh, uh, tired of reading. We can't get tired of reading. That's the flesh and that's Satan. Okay, the flesh is telling you not to read, and demons is trying to keep you from reading. All right, because there's power in this book. All right, it says, "Blessed is he that readeth." In the book of Revelations, the first chapter, and that uh, uh, heareth the word of the prophecy. Roughly paraphrasing, it's a blessing to understand what is written. Let's go into Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse 17. Then we're going to read into 10, which is where this lesson was sparked from. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse 17. And thy counsel who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. So the only way you can get wisdom is if the Lord gives it to you. All right. And wisdom and the Holy Spirit is synonymous. All right. He, and he's been he's given that to us. He's given us the Holy Spirit, which is power. All right. He's given us this wisdom, which is power. It's like you having superpowers. You know, oh, I don't want to. I don't want these superpowers. All right, I'd rather just be regular, like everybody else. All right, that, that's you leaving this truth. You not applying this wisdom. All right, that's what that's likened onto. A man that has super Superman. He just wants to be. Oh, I just want to be. Uh, what was he like? A paper boy or some shit? Wrote on a newspaper, whatever the fuck he did, man. All right, I just want to be Clark Kent. This nigga's Kyle L, all powerful, and he just wants to be, I just want to be, put your glasses on, I just want to be Clark Clint Kent with one woman, alright, fuck all that, man, we, we, we gonna be Kyle L, we gonna use these superpowers, alright, it says, and we, we're not gonna, never mind, this wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse 17, in thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed. The Lord put his Holy Spirit within us, giving us this wisdom, and we are completely transformed into a new person. Okay? I'm not the same man as I was when I first came into this truth. And people on the outside looking in can see that. Okay? People that's close to me can see that. Alright? And above all, we should be able to see a change from when we first came into this truth and to the point where we're at right now. Whether it's been a year, whether it's been five years, eight years, ten years, twelve years, we should see a difference, a huge difference. Okay? Year after year after year, we should be getting better. We should be more reformed. Alright? It says, 
For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. That's why wisdom is the principal thing, because that's how we're going to be uh, uh, that's how we're going to be preserved. That's how we're going to get saved. All right. So going into the tenth chapter, this is wisdom of Solomon ten and one. She preserved the first form father of the world that was created alone and brought him out of his fall. And gave him power to rule all things. Speaking of Adam. So wisdom gave Adam power. Just like wisdom. It, it has given us power to break down this word correctly and directly. And it's going to continue to increase our power. That we're going to do things beyond this world. Alright. Beyond the uh, 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 laws of physics of this the, the, this uh, uh, world. Alright. Wisdom is going to give that to us. Alright. And the only way to get wisdom is from Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, as we read in that previous in that previous chapter. Alright, let me get another precept. Back that up. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai gave her me. The only way you can get this wisdom, the Holy Spirit, right, is if the Lord give it to us. And we have that. Starting with the apostles and the elders, we have we have the Holy Spirit. Alright. And it didn't happen by accident. The Lord looked down on the earth and said. Give him the Holy Spirit. Give him wisdom. Let him get the Holy Spirit. Let him get wisdom. Alright. It wasn't. It's not a, a, a coincidence. It's not accidents. The Lord intentionally given us this knowledge. Alright. So, so, so that we can do what? So knowing that he's given us the Holy Spirit, knowing that he's given us the gift of wisdom, what should we do? Going back in the Proverbs, forsake her not, embrace her, let her not go, all right? Because she's going to bring us to a kingdom. She's going to give us honor and a crown, all right? Allow us to reign and rule with Yahweh Shai Mashiach forever and ever and ever, right? It says... When I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her except Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai gave her me. And that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him with my whole heart. I said, and then it goes into the ninth chapter. So we got to be praying to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for more wisdom. Okay. It says that uh, if any man in the book of James, if any man lack wisdom, let him pray to the Lord who give it to all men liberally. He's going to give it to us. Alright. Uh, it says in Sirach. It says get wisdom at thy own desire. It could be wisdom of Solomon. Roughly paraphrasing. We got to want this. Okay. We got to desire this. Okay. Oh that goes back in the wisdom of Solomon in the 6th chapter. Desi desiring wisdom. Since we're in the 8th chapter. Let me get a precept in this chapter. And we'll jump back to the 10th chapter. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8. And verse Uh, I started seven. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. And she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. Wisdom teaches us how to be a, a man. Wisdom teach, gives us uh, um, all the qualities of a true man of the Lord. And it just said that there is nothing more profitable that we can have. Fuck a Bugatti. Fuck a Lamborghini. All right. Fuck the riches of this world. We got the we got the riches of the kingdom of heaven. OK, the riches of this world is going to fail. The riches of this world is not going to get you delivered from the wrath that's to come. And the book of Proverbs says uh, it, it says that riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from evil. OK, and how do you how do you know what righteousness is? The only way you can know what righteousness is, if it, is if the Lord give you wisdom. Going back to Wisdom of Solomon 9th chapter. See, Solomon, he was going crazy in these books, man. All right? And when I say crazy, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a slang. He, he, was, he was going in. All right? He was spitting. Okay? He was, he, was, he was putting us on game. He was letting us know this is the wisest king. You have royal, royalty leaving their kingdom to come and, and, and uh, 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 see about him. Giving him gifts. Right? He, trying to hear him speak. All right, and that all came from him desiring wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, and verse 2 and gave him power to rule all things. But when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger, 
he perished also in the fury wherewith he murdered his brother, speaking of Cain, for whose cause the earth being drowned, for whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood. So Cain, his influence, his vibration was spread. That wicked, evil vibration was spread throughout the earth in them times. Okay? And because of his wicked ways being spread across the earth, that is the reason why the flood came. In the book of Sirach, it says, Famine, bloodshed, death, destruction, these things were created for the wicked and for their sakes also came the flood. All right? Why? Because they are following after the ways of Cain, who was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. All right? That is the reason why the Lord brought that destruction. For whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood, wisdom again preserved it. The title of the lesson. All right? Wisdom again preserved it. That's that's how Noah was saved. Noah was saved through wisdom. Lot, well, it's going to go into it. Wisdom again preserved it and directed the course of the righteous in a piece of wood of small of small value. That ark. Okay? Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being so so it was wisdom. It wasn't the ark was built so fantastic and it was it was it's way stronger than ti the Titanic. That's not the reason why uh, 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 Noah was saved. The reason why he was saved was wisdom. All right, was fear and faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which fear and faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is wisdom itself. Fear in the Lord is wisdom. Having faith in the Lord is wisdom, the highest level of wisdom. Okay, so that is what preserved him. All right, anybody else could have been on that boat, and that boat would have got flipped the fuck over, would have been drowned with the rest of the world. All right, but wisdom that Noah uh, 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 obtained from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, along with the fear and the faith, which is all synonymous, is what preserved the ark, is what kept Noah alive. All right, it says, Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded, she found out the righteous and preserved him blameless unto Yahweh and kept him strong against his tender compassion toward his son. I believe that's speaking of Abraham. When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities. When the, uh, when the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man. Okay, the ungodly perished being who? The, the Sodomites, the Gomorites. Okay, when the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down from the five cities. All right. Sodom, Gomorrah, and the neighboring cities. All right. Wisdom is what delivered him. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Okay. Salakia. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 10. And I'll read 6 again. It says, When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down from the five cities. So it's the same with us. All right. The wicked is in rulership, therefore a great destruction is going to come, just like in the times of Noah. What preserved Noah? Applying wisdom. Walking in the fear and faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's how he's delivered from the first death, being uh, 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 the Lord flooding the earth. Okay, so what's going to deliver us from this second death, which is going to be fire and brimstone via intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's going to be wisdom. Okay, that's what delivered Lot. From the fire uh, uh, that rained upon those uh, uh, five cities. That's what delivered him. Okay. This is what's going to preserve us. When uh, Verse 7. Of whose wickedness even to this day the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony. And plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness. And a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. All right. Again, speaking of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. And, and all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness of all the unbelievers. For what if some did not believe? Shall the, shall the faith of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall be of none effect? Yahweh, be, uh, uh, yeah, Yahweh forbid, man. OK. It says. For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt that they knew not the things which were good, but. Also left behind them to the world, to the world, a memorial of their foolishness. So that in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much be hid. 
but wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. And I'm going to stop it right there, man. We got to attend upon this wisdom. We got to be in this world. We got to be in this book. Okay? Because that is what's going to give us eternal life. That is what's going to save our soul. And that's what's going to preserve us from the evils uh, uh, to come. All right, so Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Chakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bakiar, Shai, Asherala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, my king, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption's near than we believe. Shalom.